Hey guys, Dan from the Rebel Gaming Club. Today we're going to be talking about theme music I've written for other channels. Where does it all start? That is the question. Well, let's rewind to 2014. My band, the River City Rebels, had come to an end. I needed some way to be creative, so I figured why not try to write some theme songs for some YouTube channels I enjoy. First one I decided to do was Pat the NES Punk. Why? Well, because I'm a punk and I thought maybe Pat was too and I thought I could up what he was he was already using. I think he was using Joan Jett or something for his intro. So I wrote him a theme song. Here it is. What? You've never heard it before? Well, there's a good reason for that. He chose not to use that theme song. That's the only one on this list that's not going to be in use somewhere, some way, somehow. Uh, I was alright with that. I, I reached out to him and I, I think he thought I wanted some plug for my YouTube channel, which I didn't have a YouTube channel at that time. I just wanted to create some music and, and help someone out that was being creative in their format. So. No big deal. He chose not to use it. He appreciated it, the gesture. No big deal. Second, the second song I created. Let's go to December 19th of 2014. I wrote a theme song for Aaron Karsharski, the video game wizard. Video game wizard. It was for his big 100th episode. Uh, I put it out there to him. I said I, I wanted to do something special because I knew he was building this, this episode up and uh, he needed some theme music. I reached out. It worked out. It's still in use. Every time you hear it uh, on, on his channel, it, it says Mock Title. And that was our old band and that was kind of the moniker we were going as at that point. So it's one of the ones I'm, I'm most proud about because a lot of people, it was long before this whole YouTube thing, wrote a theme song for D-Dave, a wonderful YouTube channel and uh, one that inspired the whole Rebel Gaming Club to do what we're doing now. Uh, unfortunately, I think it only got used once. I forget what episode, but you can take a listen now. Next up is a song that I wrote for RGT85. Now Sean Long has, has been one of the dudes in the community that really has reached out to us uh, a bunch and, and, and helped and, and spread the word and been really supportive and just a really decent guy. Um, not pretentious at all, just a, a straight shooter. So when we had the chance to write a song for him, I was very excited. Uh, he, he pretty much he, he reached out and he was like, I, I, want a, I want a song. I'm like, all right, what are you looking for? He's like, I want something punky. I want something with, a, you know, something heavy. Uh, 
something misfits like and I'm like that's right up my alley I can do that so for Sean Long I put this together Next up, I wrote a theme song for 64 Bit for Life. Connor is a little shithead from Canada. Little fucking punk kid, just runs his mouth. I love it. A lot of people don't love it. But uh, I always get enjoyment out of watching his videos and him trolling other people. So it was a no-brainer. I, I, I felt inspired to, to write one for him. So me and Ryan one night got together and... Uh, we wrote a song that I really feel like fits his personality. And that brings us to that, that thing. How, how do you get inspired? How do you write theme, theme songs for YouTube channels? For people you don't know all that well. I, I just try to envision that person in their channel and, and try to capture that in a essentially a 45 second song. Because all these are pretty much loops. They're not full songs. They're just essentially jingles. Um... So far on this list, you can kind of see each one, and I, I think it does represent them in some sort of way, and kind of ties in with their channel and their manifesto. Next on the list, Mega Retro Bros. Shogun Death has, has been a, a friend in this community for quite a while, and uh, someone that I've done trades with, and, and you know, we just talked about life here and there, and... Uh, Another person that reached out and um, wanted a song and it, metal, I, I, I enjoy metal music. Uh, it's something I don't get to play a lot so it was fun to put something together for him in their channel. So maybe you guys are wondering what, what my setup is. You probably aren't wondering because you don't give a shit. Or maybe you do. And for you guys, I, I have a, a real shitty computer here that I have a, a pirated version of Fruity Loops. So that's that's all my drum stuff is all programmed. I have my, my Zoom 24 track digital recorder that I've had for years and record everything on. And then I just have uh, some basic... You know, studio speakers over here. I don't know if you can see it. I have all my guitars. Essentially, I only use one or two guitars and one bass for everything. I got my microphone, and that's the setup. It's real basic, real simple. A lot of these songs don't take longer than a half hour to, to kind of knock out. That brings us to the next person on the list Smash JT. This guy, for, for the longest time, has been the biggest supporter of Rebel Gaming Club. Just real positive words, and um, it, it's, it was easy to, to want to do something for him. Uh, once again, trying to write for someone that you don't know what their musical tastes are, really difficult. So he was probably the, the toughest one to put a song together for. Um, I don't know if he's still using the theme song, but he was for quite a while. Here it is anyways. Smash 
And that brings us up to my boy, Hob G's. Uh, I wrote this on a whim one night, just thinking that, that Hav might enjoy it, and uh, sure enough he did. And it was one of the few songs I was able to sample his actual voice and put it on the track, which made it a little more personal. And uh, yeah, it's a catchy little number. I was glad I was able to, to do it for Hav. Two mic check. One, two, one, two mic check. Live and direct. Yo, Hav. What's up, everybody? Yeah, like Yo, that. one, two, Yo, one, two, mic check. Is that trombone? Right. Yeah, I got a few. I funk like that. And my most recent theme song that I wrote was for our buddy, the square painter, Adam. Love his art, love his channel, love who he is. So th this was this was easy. Um, once again, he wanted something punky. I, I know the music that he likes. Um, with this one, I don't know if I nailed it 100% for him, but I, I feel like I nailed it 100% for me because I absolutely love the track, and uh, I think it fits him perfect. And it, it probably might be my favorite one out of the whole lot now that I think about it. Maybe it's because it's the newest too, but here's a listen to this one. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap up this little list of theme songs I've written. Uh, I'm far from done, I just, uh, it's, it's tough to get time to, to write. I've promised a couple other people some songs and, and hopefully that will happen sooner than later. Uh, if you guys are, are new to the channel and, uh, and maybe you want a theme song, maybe you got a YouTube, hit us up. It can't hurt, you know. When I get inspired, things just happen. And maybe, you know, maybe the Rebel Gaming Club can be part of your channel in just a little way. Uh, thanks so much for watching this. And fucking like, comment, and subscribe.